Here we see my little Ipswich town, circa 1650. So this is the bridge that goes over a gully in the woods. I built the bridge about 35 years ago, but always wanted to put a roof on it. While typing in how to build a covered bridge on YouTube, I found many examples of large covered bridges traversing rivers and railroad tracks, but not really anything that resembled a tiny 10-foot long structure. So I got out a pad of paper and began to sketch out how I thought a bridge should be constructed. Four 4x4s four at each corner, topped by horizontal 2x4s, then five trusses to support the roof. And it worked. come to that point where now it's time to name this bridge. Come with me. If you've watched my videos before, you'll remember that I built a Swiss chalet house on 2.2 acres of wooded land. Everything about the property has a Swiss motif. And since Switzerland uses four different national languages, the signage on my property is usually in one of them. On the bridge, you'll see Pont au Caniveau, which is French and sounds very majestic. But translated, it just means bridge on the gully. Now that the bridge is finished, come with me as I ride the tractor over and through it. One of my favorite hobbies 
has always been carpentry. Owning a home offers many opportunities to learn and practice woodworking techniques. Although I never really got good at it, nevertheless, my projects are still standing, and I'm proud of them. I can positively assure you that due to my amateur skills, this bridge is definitely not level, plumb, even, or square. But I did it.